Testing an Angular JS controller usually involves testing the localized scope. We can do that by taking a look at the Pi controller here, which I've created part of the Pi module, and it's entitled Pi controller. It has a single action method on the scope and a single variable that it instantiates on the scope. We're going to mirror the directory structure that it's located at, create a controller's directory, and then create a Pi controller spec file. And this is going to allow us to directly track the controllers that we're testing. We're going to call this the Pi controller test. We're going to use a describe block. We're going to have the root scope, the scope, and the controller. Here, we're going to instantiate the module. So I'm going to use something a little different than my live template here. And this is called Pi. And then from there, we have access to all the injectable variables that AngularJS provides. In this case, we're using the injector to get root scope. We're creating a new scope from root scope, and we're using the controller service to create the Pi controller right here. From here, we can create describe blocks for the different behavior we're worried about in the Pi controller. The first thing is initialization. In initialization, we expect it to instantiate slices to eight. We can just say expect equal scope dot slices and if we take a look at our running test over here we have one of one success that's good and by the way you can delete this old test file over here this is not useful for anything anymore From there we can describe the action handlers which is going to include our pie eating method and we're going to create another describe block for that guy eat slice and we're gonna say it should decrement the number of slices furthermore it should do nothing and slices is zero so let's check this out we create an expectation for our initial connection our initial condition is expect scope dot slices to equal eight because we know it's instantiated there we scope dot eat slice. We can expect scope dot slices to equal seven. In this case, we want to set scope dot slices to zero to start with. We want to eat one, and then we still want to create the expectation that scope dot slices is equal to zero. When we take a look at our running unit test, looks like we have three passing.